I flew all the way across the country to link up with one of the richest 19 year olds I know. This is Pierre, a 19 year old who moved out of his parents house directly into a penthouse. Just 12 months ago, he followed my channel and he was still living with his parents debating whether or not he should drop out of college while trying his hardest to start a successful online business. A few months ago, I reached out to him and decided to teach him how to do what I do. I taught him how to start growth operating, which is where you partner with creators who have a big audience and you help them monetize their following by operating a business on the back end. Fast forward to today, he dropped out of college, moved out of his parents' house directly into a penthouse at 19, and is running a paid community that makes over $70,000 every single month. And today, we're gonna be linking up with Pierre to check out his new penthouse and find out exactly what he did over the last 12 months to get rich so that you can learn as well. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, IRL. Yes, sir. Damn, it's crazy. How long ago were you in your parents' group? Maybe a month ago. A month ago. Directly into a penthouse. That's nuts, bro. I remember hopping on that call with you. You were skeptical. I, know. I remember. I was curious, bro, what you guys had. Like, because the story was that I was trying to start an influencer marketing agency. Like, that's what my goal was. And then um, I was talking to a bunch of different influencers and I was trying to partner up with one, like 50 50. But I just, like, wasn't high leverage enough. So I was like, oh, that kind of seems like a good way to get my foot in the door with these people. So I was like, fuck, I'm gonna just buy it. And then the business model just clicked for me. And I ran with it. How long did it take you to like see success once you got started? It took me one community completely flopped. Um, second one actually did really well and it's up and running right now, but I'm not part of it. And then I had a nut, the third one was the one I popped off with. So maybe like two months. Why'd you keep going even though you failed the first two times? Because I knew that shit would work. The creator I have right now, I remember telling my friend like months before, I was like, bro, I know if I could lock in with him, I would make him so much money. And it actually happened. Shit's crazy. How'd you sign the creator? I know the story is pretty crazy, but I, I want you to tell it again. Yeah, so basically what happened was I had sent him a Loom video like three weeks before like a month earlier. And then I was already working with a different creator on a community, that's the one that flopped. The day it flopped, I realized, holy shit, it's not gonna work. I put in all this effort, like fuck, bro, what do I do? I was like, fuck it, yeah, I'm just gonna, I hopped on my phone, I opened Instagram, I saw him post stories, he was posting stories and it reminded me of him. And I started fucking spamming him, swiping up on every story. I was like, bro, I know I'm bugging, bro, but like, I know I can make you at least an extra 50K a month. You just spammed his DMs. Yes. <laughs> and then he texted me back, I'm interested. We started texting on iMessage, sent a few voice notes, and then that, I think like a day later, I booked a, a flight to go see him IRL. So if you show yourself in real life and you're actually a normal ass dude, it's easy to log. We did 52,000 our first month. First month, 52,000? 52 racks. Show me show me the rest of the crib. I wanna see, I wanna see the spot. Let's go. So this is my room. I literally got my TV on my floor, bro. This is like my room. There's like nothing, to be honest. And then, um... What <laughs> you got a ladder out here for? <laughs> no, I, I just sit here, bro, in the morning and get some sun. Bro, get you a real chair. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? And you lean over. Like that. Oh, this is pretty dope. This is a fire view. What made you make the jump to move out of your parents' crib into this place? Bro, I knew right away. I knew it, bro. If I was going to move out, I knew I would like double my income. And I did. You said you did what? 50, 52K your first month? What have you done since you partnered with them? Like total. Well, this month we're going to do 100K. Last month we did 80 something. The month before we did 70 something. And that uh, the month before that was the first month, which is 52. So after this month, probably like, is that 300 about? Fuck, you got there way faster than us. You did like half the time as us. As a Phil. Cool, I guess. Cool. How many hours in a day do you work? Not that much. Like, maybe a couple. Couple? A couple, like two, two, three? Maybe like one to two. <laughs> one to two? two okay. And you're about to do 100K this one? Maybe month? like two, like, okay, deep work. What's your deep work? Just like all the technical shit, like putting all their um, contracts in place, like helping people in the community. It's not like anything crazy. How many people do you have on your team? Two setters, one closer. And they get paid just commissions? Yep. How old are you? Get, wait, Max, guess how old he is. So, 18? Nah, 19. 19. 19, okay, so same age. Yeah. Yep. Okay, right. It's a compliment when they're like, no fucking way you're 19. Yeah, hey, you look old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the number one commented thing on my videos. I think a lot of people think that like these numbers are not real, but like there's so many people doing these numbers times 10. What's the difference between the guys that are making a ton and the people that are? It's just a mindset shift. I think it's just they know it's possible and then like, the longer you're in business and the longer you surround yourself with these types of people, like you realize that money just gets easier and easier to make. Would you say that these guys that you see that are out there killing it are any smarter than you or anyone else? Hell no. I think the people that are killing it are stupider than the people who aren't killing it simply because they're stupid enough to take crazy risks and do crazy things. Like we dropped out of college. I dropped out of college. You dropped out of college. I don't know what you had going when you dropped out, but I didn't have that much going when I dropped out. I had a lot of expenses to pay. <laughs> I have shit going. I was like, I'm gonna figure this shit out. That's what I'm saying. So if you're just willing to be a crazy risk taker, eventually you'll figure it out if you go false to the wall. I think you have to like 
get in these communities with people that do this shit. So again, like I said earlier, if you start hanging around people who make a lot of money or people who do like online shit, you'll realize that it's not that hard and the people who are actually doing it are just as stupid as you. Couldn't have said it better. After we met up with Pierre, we took him out to get one last piece of advice for anyone looking to start growth operating. I would say that to just continue to be different. So I feel like everyone when they get into it, especially a new business model, they try to look at someone that's had a little bit of success and replicate it and do exactly what they did. But in reality, if you want to actually make a difference in whatever industry you're in or whatever niche you're in, you have to find something semi untapped and be like the needle pusher in that industry. Everyone goes after like fitness influencers and like shit like that. That stuff you can make money with the right creator, but at the end of the day, if you want to hit those crazy numbers and like be the owner of your market, you got to do some different shit. I love that, bro. There is so much opportunity out there. 200 million creators all you need to do to do this successfully is just one and most people want to go out there and just copy what everyone else has done but if you just innovate slightly you'll you'll explode so that was really a great piece of advice Pierre. i appreciate you i'd love to see the success you've had over the past few months i'm gonna go ahead and drop all of your socials below this video if you want to go check out Pierre, go ahead it'll be in the description and uh if you're interested in learning how to get started growth operating you can join creator accelerator my paid community the same community that has helped Pierre learn how to do this and get started the link is going to be in the description normally we've charged a lot for creator accelerator in the past but we decided we're going to just show you all the value that's inside the community and kind of put the other gurus out of business because most gurus are trying to charge you $9.97 or $1,000, $1,500 for whatever they're trying to teach you. So you can go ahead and check that out now. The link's in the description. Hopefully you got some value to this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.